Yeah. Well, uh, in our uh, segment first up here for today, a local organization hopes to boost musical opportunities for young people in our community, and they're planning a special event to support those efforts. Tamika Terry with Sunflower Community Inc. and Riley Voth with CODA, Kids Obtaining Dreams Through Art, are both here to fill us in about the Artisan Bazaar that is coming up soon. Tamika and Riley, good to see you both. Good Thank to see you. you. Thanks for being here. Let's be begin, before we talk about the Artisan Bazaar, remind our viewers what Sunflower Inc. is all about. Uh, thank you for having us. So Sunflower Incorporated um, actually started uh, with the owner and founder, Julia Natlin Richardson, mm -hmm. during the pandemic. Uh, we didn't want children to lose the passion for education. Um, we wanted to also boost that excitement of learning. Okay. Also keep them engaged in the concept of learning, sure. retaining that knowledge going forward um, in their educational journey. So what Sunflower Community Incorporated does we host various events sure. to raise donations for scholarships in hopes okay. that there's not so much out of pocket with the, the ever rising inflation that we're seeing now. Yeah. So th with those donations, we're able to not only support the STEM education, we're also um, able to pull the, those that are struggling and falling okay. behind um, in their K through 12 grades, so we're able to bring them in and, and help support them. Okay, and CODA, well, tell me about CODA. It's a project I've been working on for the last few years. Uh, started the conversation with one of my friends, she was in foster care and had lost a clarinet, and you know, it was just doubly traumatic for her. So she had an idea of putting together an instrument donation program specifically designed for foster care kids, low-income communities in general, and so we're like, we have to do this. That's great. And COVID happened, kind of shut down operations, but fortunately I was able to meet Julia over at Sunflower in November, and okay. since then we've kind of partnered uh, to add, you know, a musical component and arts component to what she's doing with tutoring. Worthwhile efforts on both of your parts, obviously. Tell me about the Artisan Bazaar. It's coming up a week from this Saturday on May 6th, and it aims to give kids some musical opportunities. What, what is it all about? Absolutely. So artisan, when you think about the word, it kind of derives for artists, and that's the whole thing. You know, and, and pe kids can obtain so much of their personality and character through the arts. Mm -hmm. uh, we we have Noto right there located in North Topeka. Right. So right over the bridge of Oakland, come on over, let the children see the various different instruments and actually play with local artists mm -hmm. as well. Sure, what are, what are your hopes for this event? I mean, I know personally growing up, music was a big part of my life. I played the viola back in the day, <laughs> sure. don't anymore, but I, di I did and it was an important part of my life and it gave me a great foundation. I'm sure you all hope that for other local kids. Yeah, of course, well, part of the idea is to link youth with local musicians and people coming in. I've got some uh, friends from Kansas City coming in to perform just for them to see the live component of it because it really, it really aren't that many venue and opportunities for kids to see live music you know, really regardless of their economic status. So being able to see what it looks like to play drums or mandolin or whatever instrument it happens to be. So just to be around it and the hope is kids can select an instrument that they would be particularly drawn towards. Sure. Instead I mean, of, here's a trumpet, now you gotta play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want them to play or, or be involved with what, what works for them best. And you're gonna have a lot of different activities at this Artisan Bazaar. Absolutely, color, and oh, food. Can't food, food. Gotta, gotta have the gotta food. Have food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What else are you gonna have there? We're gonna have on display some vendors, okay. local vendors um, that make candles, scents, quilts, uh, woodworking, metal arts, mm -hmm. um, one of the areas we are encouraging and we desperately are asking for the, any vendors that are wanting to participate, please contact us. The information will be at the end of the segment. Just contact us. Yeah. There is a small $10 fee um, and that of course will go to our scholarship funding for Sunflower Community Incorporated. Well, it's gonna be a great event. Here's the information. So maybe you can get involved, get yourself out there, get some kids out there, be a vendor out there if you've got something to show off. It's the Artisan Bazaar. By, presented by Sunflower Community Inc. and CODA, 1 to 8 p.m. next Saturday, May the 6th, at the CRC CARE at Lundgren. It's at 1020 Northeast Forest Avenue. They're going to have vendors and music, art, hot dogs, and a whole lot more. Again, presented by Sunflower Community Inc. and CODA. It's going to be a great time out there, so get involved and, and get out there and learn more about music for your kids. Uh, Riley and Tamika, thank you both for being here. Thank you. Hope Riley. it's a great event for you on the 6th. Absolutely. Right. Come on it. out. Okay. Yeah.